Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm on so today I will do the top 10 Michael Jackson music videos. Personally, I'm not as big as a Michael Jackson fan as I used to be, but I do definitely respect the guy because he, you know, he got me, you know, he was one of the first guys that got me really into music and like actual good music, so there you go, you know, Michael Jackson definitely deserves the praise that he gets for most part, but you know, I'm not that much in love with him to be honest. You know, I do respect him and I do love some songs of course, you know, of the wall, thrillers, classics, so there you go. Uh, I like Dangerous quite a lot. So, you know, bad, the classics, you know. Uh, so I do definitely like Michael Jackson, but he's not my favorite pop singer, you know. Um, I like Prince way more, I like Kate Bush way more, you know, uh, Arcade Fire, Pop Rock in a way. Um, you know, what else do I like? Bjork, uh, I like Bjork more. Because they're more interesting to listen to, I think, so. And that's kind of it, obviously. Uh, Billy Joel, you know, if you want to consider that, I, I love him, so there you go. I love some, you know, I do love uh, Michael Jackson, you know, in part, but, you know, I'm not in love with all of his music, if you get my drift. I kind of infamously said, like, in some plays, like, oh, Jackson 5 is better than Michael Jackson. I was just, like, an edgy cunt, so I always am. Of course, Michael Jackson solo is better. If you actually took that serious, then, you know, get a brain, get good. But, um, you know, of course, he's better now, or, you know, he used to be solo and shit, so. Uh, so definitely, he was, you know, he definitely hit a stride, you know, back there, so there you go. Definitely can't deny his peak, but, you know, we don't really look fondly on those, like, pedophile claims and shit, and that's, you know, that's, that kind of breaks my relation with Michael right there. That, like the pedophile claims and him, you know, leaving Neverland and shit. Like, I don't like that though. But I mean, who does? Who? Yeah, who does? Really? Yeah, this is a classic song. I love rock with you. Yeah, but I mean, they're talking about music videos. I don't like. Honestly, I don't really give a shit about music videos. Um, but you know, it, this is Michael Jackson, so of course I'm gonna do it. Or of course, you know, for the for the fans, the the fans, I'm gonna explain. This is like some fanception right there. For my fans that are fan of Michael Jackson, this one is for you, fan. <laughs> fanception right there. Of pop music and the master of the music video. Ow! I mean, I was talking about it with one of my fans, like the cringy Watch Mojo uh, lines, and that was one of them. Fuck's sake. Welcome. I mean, um, yeah, the who, who the who, how the, how the fuck do you say this? Woo who by uh, Blur, you know, that's great, but Watch Mojo tried to imitate it on the headbang list. And, today, and the most infamous for me is the, the intro to, Pantera, to the Tot and Pantera song. That one is fucking awful. The covers. <laughs> Down our picks for the top 10. I mean, top 10 worst watch mojo uh, moments, everything really. Music videos. <laughs> All of them. All the moments. Don't stop till you get it on this fucking amazing. I love the song. I mean, it, it, like, yeah, it was on a, you know, it was on the video of songs that always make you smile. I mean, I don't agree with watch mojo a lot of the time, but I agree with that uh, song now. Always make me small. Musicians and shape pop culture across the globe. Bad. Good song. Who's bad? Print didn't want to be on that song because the first lyric was "Your butt is mine." <laughs> I mean, you gotta, you gotta appreciate that. You gotta appreciate it, those ones. Uh, scream. I mean, I'm definitely gonna get a very in-depth. I mean, I'm gonna predict this shit. Like on every Michael Jackson related video that I make, I get like a very in depth, detailed Black Queen comment. That I, you know, everyone loves Black Queen. I love Black, we all love him, but. Um, but I mean, you can't really comment on Black Queen comments because, like, what is there to say? Like, yeah, you're just a, like a fact machine. You're just like Google. What am I supposed to say to you? Okay, Google? <laughs> Janet Jackson. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking perfect. <laughs> what am I supposed to say to you, Black Queen? You said it all already. Videos, the King of Pop was always ahead of his time, but when MJ teamed up with I mean, he's definitely gonna to react to this, or yeah, he's definitely gonna comment on this video. I mean, isn't Screen the. 
I just go down. I'm a fucking retard. Uh, Scream is like the the biggest budget music video ever made. Like it's the most expensive music video ever made. There you go. I was looking for like that word expensive. And I mean it's Michael Jackson, so of course you can afford it. And with passing references to Japanese anime, MJ established a dreamlike effect. That's a, that sounds kind of like um, how do you say that? Like a double and tantrum. I, be, I believe you say it like that. Uh, kind, of, kind of like a, a double pointer in a way, like Japanese anime. Like yeah, that's like a term. Like that's the noob term because if you're experienced, you know that anime is Japanese. You you would know that, but of course for most watch Mojo fan blogs. Mojo, like, I don't think I've ever met a person that calls himself a Mojo holic. Like, I'm, like, I'm subscribed to watch Mojo, I, I like the guys fine, but I'm not a Mojo holic. I'm not gonna buy, like, a mug with watch Mojo on it, or, like, a t-shirt. I've never seen anyone do that. If you do that, you're, you're fucking pathetic. I mean, look at their 21 million sub count, and then look at their, like, um... Their sales on merchandise. It's fucking scary. I assume. I, I can't see the numbers, of course, but I think if you're gonna see that, it's gonna be fucking terrifying. Oh, Earth Song. I love this song. This is one of my all time favorite Michael Jackson songs. Like, I'm not a huge Michael Jackson fan anymore, but I love Earth Song. Like, um,. The, the fucking no present future. The, I'm forgot. I forgot how it's called again. You know the one with the statue and shit. The the compilation album. Um, Blackman said that's his favorite Michael Jackson album, and I kind of slowly agree with him though. It's pretty interesting. Now that has a lot of bangers and shit, and kind of a lot of deep cuts and all that. I've definitely been sleeping on this album. Um, past, present. I don't know, Blackwing is gonna fucking say it, so uh, don't even, don't even uh, say it. Number I don't even mind. Nine, Earth song. This is an amazing song. Perfect, perfect pop bitch, perfect pop song. Triple P bitch. Or tri triple P, uh, PPS, there you go. PPS. Michael Jackson was already I'm so fucking childish. I mean, this song was amazing. I love the, the build up, the, the harmonies, the, the music video. It's really powerful. The only flaw I have with it, it's kind of cheesy and melodramatic, but I love the tone that it has. Like, it's cheesy, but it's good cheese. That's kind of it, honestly. This is what heal the world. This is what heal the world should have been. This is what it should have been. Fuck's sake. I mean, it took him four years to write this shit. I, you know, I highly doubt he fucking wrote it, did, but um, but he did write it, so I, I'm still proud of him. So there you go. Still proud of you, MJ. Rip. Amazing song. Probably not even done already. Might be my all time favorite Michael Jackson song or Billie Jean, of course. Duh. Number eight, Billie Jean. I mean, I definitely fuck with off the wall thriller Michael Jackson. This sounds racist as fuck, but black Michael Jackson is better than white Michael Jackson. I mean, fucking, you know, I'm not trying to be a racist here, you know, that's actually the kind of good side of racism because I support blacks. I'm not gonna get into that argument. I'm not trying to be racist here, but he was that genuinely a better person when he was black because he was hanging with Freddie Mercury of Queen and with, um, you know, who else? I believe it's Sex Pistols or no, it was Queen, I believe, like they had a feud. Um, he was hanging with more people though, I can't. Black Sabbath maybe? No, I don't know. He was hanging with more people though, but uh... Oh yeah, Paul McCartney of course, like... He he was so fucking chilled back in the day. Like, he got everything, he worked with Queen, the Beatles, everyone loved him, I loved him back then. Great songs, amazing albums. 
you know, you got you got like spank the shit out of him in the Jackson Five, you know, for him to, you know, be perfect, perfect bitch and shit like that. I mean, Michael Jackson back in the day was a genuine amazing person back in the day, like down to earth and made amazing music. So, like, I fuck with that Michael Jackson, but I'm not like really into him, like in the bad, dangerous era. I do like you know dangerous, bad, but. He definitely got kind of, you know, wide and he got weird and creepy and, you know, the pedophile thing, so... You know, I'm not saying that uh, um, he's better black because blacks are better in general. I'm not gonna, gonna get into that. Don't fucking remind me. Don't, uh, you know, don't, don't tempt me. Uh, but he definitely was a better person back then, so that's kind of what I'm trying to say here. Not trying to like uh, put a race above the other though. That's not what, that's not, that's irrelevant to me. But I'm trying to say he was better back then. There you go. As a person. Like I'm really fucking myself over, but you know what I mean. But the backstory of Billy Jean is no laughing matter. In a time when no one was asking for that rant, but there you go. Perfectly appropriate for MTV. That's my opinion on him. Hardly get executives to listen. Well, at least the powerful ones. Simply because of his skin color. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, he broke racial barriers because his music was so good. He was such a big hit, but people at MTV was like, Oh, but he's black, we're not gonna do that. That's so fucking racist, Jesus Christ. Like, if you hear the history about that, people like would just be like, Wow, we were so fucking racist back then. But that's really how it was, though. Yeah, you know, it even was worse before that because of the, the slave war and shit like that. That's really bad. Great music video though, and this one of course, black and white. <laughs> With like the kid from Home Alone, like uh, rocking out in his bathroom, that was, that was pretty cool. Number seven, black or white? Oh well, yeah, the, the pedo thing kind of slowly built up in the 90s because like he showed a little kid uh, playing with his strings in his bathroom. So yeah, he was definitely getting on the pedo side though, but it was well intended, so there you go. It was well intended, it was quirky, it was, you know, harmless, dense. A Black Panther and Macaulay Culkin. One of these three oh, I didn't even see that Black Panther, really. As we see it today. Fuck that movie. Like, I believe the movie got like a 9 or something, and then it dropped down to like a 7 or a 6. Fuck that movie. <laughs> like, wasn't it highly praised just because the whole cast was black or something? That was like the only reason it got the rain that it got. Not to say that, uh, that I hate the blacks or something. Like, I'm fine with every race as long as they're respectful to each other. And they don't disrespect each, other, each other's religion. I don't, you know, I like everyone if they're, you know, if they're likable, if they're f just normal people. Just, not to say normal people, but if they can behave normal. That's kind of what I'm trying to say here. And the worldly visuals offered plenty of charm. Need to get my charger in a bit. Now, the morphing sequence is kind of dated, I think. It's not really my thing, to be honest. I like this America parody more. Where is uh, Donald Glover doing that too? Uh, leave me alone. I'm gonna grab my charger in a bit. I'll, I'll be back in a bit. This is a good, uh, good music video as well. Leave me alone. Oh. It's like right there. I'm fucking blind. Great chord song. It's the job of entertainers to, well, entertain us. Oh my god, shut, shut up. Shut up. Just leave me alone. The haters. Just paparazzi and fans. Leave, leave me the fuck alone. Like, I get it. Like, People won't get off his bag, that's annoying as well. Oddly enough, the 
visuals and message of leave me alone by the way is a new wall already on metal storm like anticipating this shit i hope it is uh remember the time number five remember the time i do not like eddie murphy Like Eddie Murphy is a bit like he's kind of more likable than like an Adam Sandler or something, but he's still in that like dumb body humor. Comedian Eddie Murphy and a like piss and shit Magic humor. Johnson, so there you go. Epic nine-minute video that received critical acclaim. Was it? Oh, cool, Jay. Oh, that's a that's a lot. And by injecting a little humor into the containing um, setting, yeah, Michael Jackson delivered perhaps the most entertaining. Like I was looking on my Twitter and I was like, oh, to as cover as a cover right now. They're probably still not on there because tools so weird. Early on, They're so fake. I would love to like watch watch a tool right there in the video right now. Oh, it is um, it is on there. There you go. No matter cover, yeah, but fear inoculum. There you go. I'm kind of. Eh? I'm kind of mixed on that all um, name, Fear Inoculum. It's kind of a weird thing to say. Like, I'm a fear it's gonna suck, but yeah, it's gonna be good, probably. Hey, Bad. I prefer, uh, I prefer a Weird Al's version. It is based on the 1961 musical West Side Story and featured Michael Jackson as a character named Daryl. Early on, a young Wesley Snipes calls his badness into question, and naturally, a dance off is in order to prove who's really bad, even if MJ's nemesis wasn't exactly impressed. And the supporting cast brought their A game, but it was Scorsese's direction that ensured a heightened sense of artistry. Hey. Uh, beat it. Love Eddie Van Halen solo on the song. Really good. Number three. Do I really think it's one of the best though? I think that black and white is way better. Like way more diverse and shit. But this MJ classic is closely connected and Michael Jackson probably likes to because it's of the kids. It's also production that truly heightened the possibilities of music videos. You wanna be tough, better do what you can't so be it. Filmed in the skid row section of downtown Los Angeles, be it brought be dozens be of be actual be gang be members be together be for a group choreography sequence that has become a fixture of modern music videos. That's right. It's fine. Just 15 years after the death of Martin Luther King Jr. I don't really care about like the teasing blue balling like fight that they have. Like, oh, it's supposed to be like a, an act, but it kind of looks gay in my opinion. Like, oh, we're stabbing each other, but not really because it's a music video. Yeah, I don't really like that, but sure. You know, the song is great. So there you go. We're talking about a music video. There you go. Like they have knives, but they don't do anything with it. Like they're just dancing with each other. Oh, we're stabbing the air, it's so edgy. And then they're dancing again. Like at least act like you're getting a hit or something. At least act a little bit. Love the song, but I mean, did they just skip the solo? They skipped the fucking solo. Fuck with Mojo. Oh, fucking uh, ow. Uh, smooth criminal. Fuck yes. Yeah. Yeah, this is arguably my favorite song by him. This one, Earth Song, and um, Billie Jean, of course. There you go. And that's like my top three. Smooth criminals. 
All I'm saying is that Howard Morgan said this very good. Like many of the individuals he worked with, Jackson was a history buff, a smooth criminal in the aesthetic sense. Not only did he channel tropes of 40s era film noir, but he also touched on classic Play LA noir, great guys. It was like in development hell, but it's pretty good. Unlike Duke Nukem, fuck that fucking franchise. Fuck all the games. Fuck all the Duke Nukem. Fuck all the blokes. This song is great though. The, I would argue this is number one though. This is really good. Sorry for that. It's probably like uh, crew right now, sorry again. Yeah. Can't deny that though. Nothing is gonna be on this level ever again. Before we unveil our top pick, That's number one though. Oh yeah, it's Trader, of course. Yeah. I always forget about Trader. Like it's such an iconic song, but I always forget about it because it's such a cliche number one spot. Um yeah, you heard that. The way you make me feel. I like the guy in the back that was like making circles in there. Uh, Dirty Diana. My Dutch, my Dutch friends will understand what I just said there. <laughs> they don't care about us. Probably no one cared about that reference, but there you go. Michael Jackson's Ghost. Why, why did they title it like that? What the fuck? It's just Ghost, right? Like, what the, why is Michael Jackson's in there? And why not in the others? What the fuck? Uh, you rock my world. Oh, it's a cover, maybe. It might be a cover, I don't know. You rock my world uh, from Invincible. I think Invincible's fine, it's fine all of them. But it's not worth a decade, you know, waiting for a fucking decade, no. Of course, this is number one, like, shake red to the side a little, little bit. Uh, yeah, this. Catchy song. Uh. One thriller. I mean, I'm kind of sighing right now because it's so cliche. But I mean, it's a great song, a little bit, but it's overplayed. One word alone speaks volumes across the world. It transcended the concept of the music video upon release, along with the. I still like to hear it though, but you know, probably only on Halloween though. Then I'm in the mood. Yeah. So probably in two months I will probably listen to it again. It's kind of like an annual thing, I don't listen to this every day or something. Like yeah, I like to listen to it to remember that it exists, but I don't like to listen to it like every week or something. That would be pretty tar tiring on me. Not to say it's a bad song, you know, it's a great song, it's a classic, but it's overplayed. I mean, I love that breakdown, the do 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 like the little guitar riff right there, do do that breakdown right there, really love that. Whenever Michael just like, I'm gonna fucking eat your brains. That's like my favorite moment right there. Because it's like the greediest moment of the, of the video. Music video, for that matter. Yeah, I mean, if you want to debate, it's the greatest music video of all time. Yeah, you can debate. I mean, it's top 10, top 5, hell, even top 3 maybe, for sure. But, you know, personally, it's not my favorite. I think it's not that good, to be honest. But, you know, it's a classic for everyone. I'm not going to deny Thriller, because Thriller, the album, is a classic. The song is great, too. I'm, you know, I just think the music video is kind of too long for my taste and not really a lot is happening in it so for in my opinion you know if you love if you love the music video i get that but for me you know it's not it's not that great to be honest i think it's kind of filler in a way unpopular opinion time so still love the song but music video is kind of really long-winded and slow what's there you your go. favorite michael jackson music video oh jam is way better in my opinion like he's just jamming with like Michael Jordan, I believe, and it's so adorable. He's like learning Michael Jordan how to moonwalk in the end. That's so fucking cute, man. 
That's so, that's so much fun. Or even they don't care about it, where like Michael Jackson is like jamming out with like Africa and shit. Like even that is pretty good. But I mean, I'm not gonna deny it further, that's really great, so there you go. I'm even grabbing my balls right now, but they're, you know, I actually have a reason for grabbing them because they're itchy and shit. What is your excuse, Michael Jackson? Little kids, huh? <laughs> Just kidding, guys. I, you know, I, I love Michael Jackson. He's, he's classic, but he's not my favorite. Uh, a top 10 isn't enough. Yeah, of course, it's the first comment. Um, he has a fucking office US icon, though, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna like, gonna like you for that though, because The Office is a great show. Nobody is better than Michael Jackson, Rip, uh, Prince, Kate Bush, Bjork, Abba, or, well, no, not to say Abba, but I prefer them for sure. Um, for me at least. Did I say Bjork? Yeah, Bjork, I already said that. Kate Bush, not sure if I said that already. You know, Prince, like I said at the beginning. Um, probably more. Uh, Billy Joel, you know. I prefer all those artists, but you know. I'm not gonna deny Michael Jackson though, he's great, but you know, that's kind of it, honestly. Smooth Criminal is the ultimate masterpiece. Yeah, for me, yeah, for me it is. Yeah, yeah, I would say Smooth Criminal is easily the best music video. I just think that trailer's kind of overrated. I miss Michael. I think if he would still live today, he would just create more and more controversy for himself, so. And I'm gonna say, I'm glad he died, I'm not gonna say that. I, I, I just said it, but. But I'm not, you know, I'm not, keyword not, I'm not glad that he's dead. You know, of course, everyone wishes that he was still alive. Oh, you know, kill Bieber, One Direction for Michael Jackson. That's a great idea. I would love that. But, you know, I, um, I do think in some ways it's, um, you know, uh, this is going to sound fucked up. But, um, you know, in some ways it's better, I'm not going to say, like, Glad he's dead, but I'm gonna say, in some parts, it's best for Michael Jackson that he has been laid to rest, that he has been passed away because no one can bother him anymore, no one can like pedophile claim his ass and like people trying to get money out of him. That's why I'm happy for Michael that he can finally rest in peace. That's kind of the definition right there of resting in peace, the literal definition. You know, I'm happy for him for that, but of course, you know, I'm sad that that he is dead. But at the same time, you know, I'm glad that he can rest in peace. Yeah, you know, that's kind of it, honestly. I'm not glad he's dead, but he can, he can lay his soul to rest. So, there you go. <laughs> oh, one one uh, fucking uh, user is called Justin Bieber. So, I mean, I'm just gonna like you for that name. <laughs> I mean, I don't really agree with the comment, Michael Jackson is hands down the best singer ever. I don't really agree with that comment, but I'm gonna like comment just for your name. <laughs> Raise your hand if you hate Michael Jackson. That's uh, what I fucking thought, there's no hands, exactly. Um, fa fa fandom of the opera, lol. Like, no one is like saying, oh, that's a great username. <laughs> It is a great username though. I still get chills every time I see anti anti gravity lean. I mean it's fake, but it's cool, I guess. Like he has like some special shoes for this shit, so there you go. Before watching Twitter is number one. I always forget Twitter because it's just so cliche. Kinda kinda the same thing with um I was called again, called again Journey. Yeah, I believe the band's called No 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 not, not Journey, I love Journey, but Survivor. Yeah yeah, uh, no? Yeah yeah, Survivor Eye of the Tiger, that band. Uh, by the way, I love, yeah, I love the band, love the game too, great Sony game, uh, Journey, pick it up. A top 10 is simply not, uh, yeah, yeah, I already read that. Um, come on guys, Ghost was bloody phenomenal, I love Ghost, Ghost is one of my favorites MJ songs for sure. Ghost is a great song. Michael Jackson will forever have the best music videos of all time, not Beyonce, sorry, Kanye, lol. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say that Kanye has the best music videos. Like, I've, I've uh, watched All of the Lies yesterday and today because I love All of the Lies by Kanye West. But I mean, he literally like rapes your eyes with that seizure inducing ending of All of the Lies. Watch it at, at your own risk. I personally would recommend you just listen to the audio clip 
because he fucking raped your eyes with that music video. I, lo I love the quality and the visual aesthetic of all of the lights, but that ending is fuck all. Like he's flipping you off with how it sounds at the ending. It sounds like a robot fapping or something. Uh, and like all of the light, like literally all of the light, like flashing, uh, flashing on your screen. Like he's literally ear, uh, eye raping you. So there you go. Uh, please God, give us back Michael Jackson and take Kanye West instead. Oh, but, but I like Kanye West. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I actually like Kanye West. Now shut up. I thought it was Justin Bieber. Exactly. No, I wouldn't really take Kanye West though. I like him. So shut up. The music video industry sucked without this man. Uh, there are more good artists than Michael Jackson though, get good. Yes, it does, not really, but sure. The most amazing artist to date, I miss MJ. Arguably the most overrated one, but sure, I guess. He's one of the better ones, I suppose. Stranger in Moscow could have been at least an honorable mention. Um, that's a good song. Your butt is mine. <laughs> Hashtag iconic. <laughs> I mean, um, yeah, if it wasn't like two years ago, like older, it could have been a Prince comment. <laughs> I cringe when he said ow. Exactly. I'm gonna end it and then that's fucking perfect. I thought it was the only one. I I did too, he didn't get it right. I mean he didn't get it right because Watch Mojo shouldn't try to imitate iconic shit like like the ow or the Pantera song or the Blur's Woo Hoo song. Woo hoo. The song too of course. So fuck Watch Mojo for that. Um thank you for watching this video. I've made it like a half an hour again, so there you go. Those are usually my best videos though, so I'm trying to stretch them out. Not because of ad revenue, because I don't earn anything by this shit, because, you know, I say nigger and, uh, you know, because, you know, music clips and audio clips and me saying the, the nigger words, so there you go. I, don't re I really don't give a shit. I'm not even racist, like, I don't give a fuck about censoring myself. I have, like, no filter. Sometimes I do filter myself because sometimes it might get a little bit too much. But you know, most of the time I don't because there's not really a need, ex except when I get uh, ex excessive, you know? If I go overboard, then I censor myself. It's a good kind of balance, I think, so there you go. You know, funny, offensive, but not like racist offensive, so there you go. Thanks for watching this video, like, subscribe to the channel, if you just like, man, I have no time anymore, so peace.